So why is the biomodulator so crucial for the body? Well, you could have the most advanced computer in the world, but if you don't have the power to control it, if you don't have the battery charged, if it's not plugged in, it's not gonna work. And our bodies are the same thing. We are very much electrical beings. I've been in this field for 14 years and I have not found a single tool that does what the biomodulator biotransducer does. There's similar things out there, you know, different signaling, targeting different structures in the body. However, the transducer and how the biomodulator works with the transducer, there's nothing that does what that does. Before, you know, there's no way to really flip your polarities back on, flip the switches back on. And if the switch is off, you're not gonna be able to hold a charge, right? And if you can't hold a charge, then basically all those structures are gonna lose power and you're gonna get sick. This is what flips the switches back on. This is the only thing that flips those switches back on and it's incredibly effective at it. So basically turning all your circuits back on, everything's operating, charging you back up, your body's gonna operate the best that it can and the best for, that it can for many years. So I think the biomodulator as well as a multitude of other devices can be used in conjunction with one another. I think people get really hung up on asking, oh, well, you know, what about this device? Is this better than that device? Well, it's different, <laughs> you know? I've been in this field for 14 years and come across a multitude of devices and I've never found one that does what the biomodulator and biotransducer does. So they all work different. So me personally, I use the biomodulator as well as a device called Beamer, which is a pulse electromagnetic field therapy. I use those two in conjunction all the time on myself, on my family, my dogs, you know, <laughs> they love it. I think that those two are a great foundation, you know, together because basically you're flipping all the circuits back on, charging up the cells, and then also increasing blood throughout the entire body for the rest of the day. So I think that's a good foundation because obviously we know that in order for the body to utilize oxygen, there has to be that voltage change, right? For that oxygen molecule to drop away from the red blood cell. Well, it can drop away, but if that blood can't get to where it needs to go, then it's not gonna be utilized the right way. So I like to use the two in conjunction.